On this School of Xbox, we're taking a look at content controls and how you can use them to help manage the content you and your family see and play on Xbox Live. After all, there's a wider selection of entertainment available on Xbox Live than ever before, but that inevitably means that not all of it is appropriate for everyone. Luckily, the new dashboard has made family settings even easier to find and customize so that you can tailor content across all experiences and applications right down to the results that Bing Search displays. Here's how it works. First, head all the way to the right on the dashboard to Settings, then select Family. From there, select Content Controls. It's here that you can pick and choose exactly what you do and don't want to see when exploring content on Xbox Live. For example, you can adjust game ratings so that only games up to a certain age rating can be played. Likewise, you can set the limits on movie and TV ratings. You can even allow or block explicit or unrated content. YouTube, for example, is considered to be unrated content because most of the videos on the service are generated by users, not TV or movie studios. For this reason, unrated content is blocked by default. Of course, if you're okay with a console accessing YouTube, you can always switch it to allowed. There's also an option for game exceptions. Let's say, as a rule, you don't want games rated 16 or above being played by younger family members, but you're okay with Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Simply play the game, enter the passcode you selected for family settings, and you can choose to add the title to the game exceptions list. Now, beyond setting the ratings limit for games and other content, you also have other powerful tools under content controls. You can set a family timer by the day or week to automatically limit how much your Xbox 360 can be played. You can also choose whether the console has access to Xbox Live or if other people can create Xbox Live memberships on the console. Finally, there's one very important point. The content controls you choose are placed not on individual Xbox Live accounts, but on the console as a whole. That means they'll apply to anyone that uses that particular Xbox 360. But don't worry, you can always enter the passcode you chose when setting the content controls if you want to, say, play a game or watch a movie for mature audiences after the kids or younger siblings head to bed. There's also a host of important changes you can make to individual accounts, such as deciding whether your kids can accept friend requests on their own or use voice chat over Xbox Live, but we'll cover that off in a future lesson. We hope this quick look at content controls has helped you understand all the great tools you have to create an Xbox Live experience you're comfortable with. Don't forget that you can write to us at schoolofxbox at live.co.uk with any Xbox 360, Xbox Live or Connect related queries. Thanks for watching. <laughs>